In this video we will introduce the main features of the HS Manager program used to manage measurements coming from the Heat Shield Heat Stress Monitor. HS Manager is a PC program supplied alongside the Heat Shield Monitor. HS Manager produces the following main features. Data downloading from the Heat Shield Monitor to the PC, data reporting in the form of data tables, charts, dashboard and reports, reference limits analysis and simulation. Furthermore, HS Manager exports data in text files, Excel file as well as to the TEA program where more features will become available. A useful index calculator, for virtual assessments, is also included with the program. When data are being downloaded by the Heat Shield Monitor, using the specific HS Manager tool, HS Manager reports the measurements across different measurement surveys. In this example, we downloaded two surveys. When we select one survey number, it is possible to select the data time frame of interest and decide the statistical time base used for data reporting. We can select one or more time bases. In this example, we already have 10 minutes statistical time base, and now we are going to add another 5 minutes. Using the hide data option, we can add or remove assessments using the instant original values arriving from the heat shield monitor. In the summary option, we can enter the subject types to be assessed. In this example we have already two subjects, George and John, and now we are going to enter a new one. Name, Paul. His metabolic rate is selected by a table or manually entered. If Paul is acclimatized to the heat on not, according to ISO 7243. If we want to use with or without solar load WBGT formula. Here is the CAV value referred to the clothing adjustment value used by Paul according to ISO 7243 or America ACGIH. And at the end, here we can enter a custom WBGT limit value, to be assessed for Paul. Now we go to the filter option. Here we can select which type of information we want to place on the table, chart, and general statistics. Here we can select which parameter measured by the heat shield monitor we want. Here the list of index we want. Here, for each subject, the type of information we want. We have options as, WBGT effective value, and distance from the WBGT reference value. In other words, this is the distance from the dangerous limit. In this example we settled to have the globe temperature and air temperature, WBGT without solar load and, for Paul only, both WBGT effective and distance to WBGT reference. Now we can go to the view option. We can choose to have a table, chart, or general statistic. When we select the table option, we will obtain a table reporting all the parameters chosen by the filter option. Air temperature, WBGT, WBGT effective for Paul and his distance to WBGT reference. Same if we select statistic. Here we can read the maximum and minimum values with day and time of the occurrence and average and standard deviation values. All these tables are exportable as text file or Excel file. If we select the chart we will have the same information, but here we can choose whether to hide the heat shield measurements or not. The chart can be saved in bitmap format or printed or directly copied into the PC clipboard. If we go back to the summary option, we have some interesting information. 
as the average and maximum index values over the entire survey for all the index produced by Heat Shield as WBGT, Heat Index, Humidex, PMV, and PPD. Here for WBGT only, without considering any CAV value, we have the information if the WBGT values exceeded the limits for acclimatized or not acclimatized subjects considering the four metabolic classes reported on the ISO 7243, using with and without solar load formulas. In the last table we have a list of useful information. For each subject we entered, we have their WBGT reference value, so their limit value, the average, and maximum WBGT effective values. Red color means that the average and maximum WBGT effective value has been exceeded from the WBGT reference value. Then we have the percentage of allowed work according to the American ACGIH considering average and maximum WBGT effective values. At the end, we have the information if the custom WBGT limit, we entered for this subject, has been exceeded. HS Manager also produces reports in Word format. Reports are user-customizable documents where most of the calculations and limits are reported. It is possible to edit one available template. Each template contains a series of tabs. Each tab corresponds to one type of information and result contained within the HS Manager program. In the program setting, it is possible to choose the time format and the degree units, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Other options are available regarding the charts and background formats. In options there is also the possibility to set the format of the ASCII file used when we want to export the data in text files. As the last feature, HS Manager contains a very useful calculator. Using this calculator, it is possible to set all the virtual environmental measurement values, CAV, and metabolism values and obtain the related virtual thermal indexes calculations. Measurements survey made by Heat Shield and available on the HS Manager can be exported inside the LSI LastM Gitas T PC program. Gitas T is a very complete tool to archive measurements and create more detailed analyses and reports for hot, cold, and moderate thermal environments indexes. HS Manager is a great and simple tool to enhance all the Heat Shield monitor features in the best possible way by having the ability to analyze and report values and assess alarm thresholds for a multitude of subjects exposed to thermal environments.